240 watt charging may become a thing. PlayStation is working on mobile games and Valve is making a portable PC. How's it going everybody? This is Dave LeClaire with MEO Tech Bytes and I am here to tell you about the latest from the world of technology. It has been a busy 24 hours. There has been a lot of news going down. I've been following it all very closely and now I'm going to tell you about it. So let's kick it off with our first story right now. So in our first story, the USB Implementers Forum has revealed that there is a new standard of USB-C coming and it will allow power transfer up to 240 watts. Now, to put that into perspective for you, currently the limit is 100 watts, so we are more than doubling the current power output. Many gaming laptops and even monitors use less than 240 watts of power, which means you may end up seeing laptops that are powered by USB-C cables, which is quite cool. You might even see your next computer monitor powered by a USB-C cable. Now this is a big time game changer. Obviously there will have to be labeling and all that to make sure that devices are supported. Cables will have to make sure they're properly labeled as 240 watts and all that good stuff. We should be seeing these cables hit the market in late 2021 or 2022, so it actually isn't some far-flung future technology Technology we're talking about here. These 240 watt USB-C cables will be coming very soon. They could be here as soon as this year. So we recently reported that Sony was thinking about bringing some of its PlayStation Classic games to mobile devices. And now there's been some new developments there as a Sony executive himself has basically confirmed that it is on Sony's radar. They are in fact thinking about it. It is more than just a job listing at this point. The Sony Interactive Entertainment CEO, Jim Ryan, basically said that mobile games are on Sony's radar and it would make sense for the company to bring games to smartphones and get them in front of a whole new slew of gamers who don't necessarily engage with PlayStation's current consoles. Here's his exact quote. Mobile is just one of the areas we are exploring to reach millions of gamers beyond our platforms. PlayStation has a huge catalog of diverse first-party IP that can translate to smartphone gaming and complement our AAA games or live service games. We are exploring the mobile market with some wonderful PlayStation franchises, so please stay tuned. Now, unfortunately, he didn't reveal what games would be coming to mobile devices. He kind of kept things very vague, only saying that, hey, we have a wealth of IP that would make sense. So will it be Vita games? Will it be PSP games? Will they go as far as to bring PlayStation? PlayStation 2 games and port them over to mobile and adapt them to a mobile screen with mobile controls. Now that so many people have devices that hook to their phones and allow them to have traditional control methods, maybe they won't even have to really adapt them too much. It's just put them out on the phone and let people play them. So while we're on the subject of portable games, apparently Valve may be working on a portable PC, something like the Nintendo Switch, but instead of a Switch with Nintendo hardware and software, it would be a PC, but fully portable, able to be carried around with you with controls built in and all that good stuff. According to the report from Ars Technica, the device is codenamed SteamPal, and it would basically look like a Nintendo Switch, but without removable controllers, and obviously with some of Valve's own design sent them, it's not gonna just make a Switch, it's gonna change things up. But it would have no removable controllers, and it would have access to the Steam Steam library so you could play your Steam games wherever you want. Apparently the device also will feature a dock, so just like the Nintendo Switch, you could dock it in and use it as your normal computer. It sounds quite exciting and it sounds like something that could really be a big deal because who doesn't want to be able to play their full-fledged PC game library on the go and then take it home and plug it in and play them at home like you would normally? I mean, it's the promise of the Nintendo Switch, which Nintendo has more than delivered on over the last couple of years, but with PC games, it sounds like a win-win. Now, obviously, because this is in the prototype phase, we don't know anything about the hardware that it will support, how powerful it will be. We don't even know what OS it'll run, if it even ever comes out. After all, it's a prototype. It might never see the light of day. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this episode of MEO Tech Bytes is over. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it entertaining, and I hope that you will click that thumbs up button. I hope that you will subscribe to MEO's YouTube channel, so that way you can get all the latest episodes of Tech Bytes, as well as all the product reviews, how-to videos, and all the other good stuff we put out. Turn on that notification bell so you know when a new episode is posted, and I will see you in the next one.